Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing ATMATH. ATMATH for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did first six questions of exercise 15.8 Today we are going to do some more questions of this exercise but before I start question number 7 first I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is admeth watch previous lectures of this exercise and previous exercise as well after watching previous lectures you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number 7 Given that integrate 1 to k 2 upon 3x minus 1 dx is equals to 2 upon 3 ln 7. Find the value of k. Very easy. First take 2 outside from the sign of integration. It is 1 upon 3x minus 1. Now, right hand side is same. The derivative of denominator 3x minus 1 is 3. So, write 3 in numerator and divide by 3 as well. So, 2 upon 3 ln denominator that is 3x minus 1 is the integration and limit 1 to k. And right hand side no change 2 upon 3 add in 7 2 upon 3 cancel by 2 upon 3 apply the limit ln 3x upper limit is k so 3k minus 1 minus lower limit is 1 so ln 3 1 the 3 minus 1 is 2 is equals to ln 7 apply the rule of logarithm log convert subtraction into division so it is ln 3k minus 1 upon 2 is equals to ln 7 ln cancel by ln 3k minus 1 2 7 the 14 3k minus 1 shifted over there so 14 plus 1 is 15 3 5 the 15 so k is equals to 5 this is our final answer k is equals to 5 now move to question number 8 hope you enjoy this question Sorry, I copied question number 7 again. Here we go, question number 8. Part A, given that 4 x upon 2x plus 3 is equals to 2 plus a upon 2x plus 3. Find the value of the constant a. Very, very easy. 4x upon 2x plus 3. The denominator of 2 is 1. Therefore, the LCM is 2x plus 3. 2 multiply by 2 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3 cancel by 2x plus 3 it is a this 2x plus 3 cancel by this 2x plus 3 so 4x is equals to 2 to the 4x 2 3 is a 6 plus a 4x cancel by 4x 6 shifted over there it will be minus 6 
Hence, this is the answer of part A. The value of A is minus 6. Part B. Hence, show that integrate 0 to 1 for x upon 2x plus 3 dx is equal to 2 minus 3 ln 5 upon 3. So, we have to show and you can see and you can focus the word in part B hence. Hence means you have to take the help from previous part. So, integrate 0 to 1 we have already converted 4x upon 2x plus 3 in part A is 2 plus A. A is minus 6. So, 2 minus 6 upon 2x plus 3 dx because this is equals to 4x upon 2x plus 3. Now, apply the sign of integration in each and every term. 2 goes outside, it is dx. 6 goes, uh, goes outside, 1 upon 2x plus 3 dx. So, the denominator of 2x plus 3, is, uh, sorry, the derivative of 2x plus 3 is 2. So, write 2 over here, divide 2 over here. Hence, 2 dx integration is x limit 1 to 0 minus 2 3 the 6 ln 2x plus 3 limit from 0 to 1. Apply the limit. Sorry, 0 to 1, not 1 to 0. This is my mistake. 0 to 1. So, 2 upper limit is 1 minus 0. This is the limit of x. Now, apply the limit 2 into 1. 2 1 is 2. 2 plus 3 5 minus 2 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. So, ln 3. 2, 1 minus 0 is 1, 2, 1 is 2, minus, sorry, I forgot to write this, 2, 3 is 6, this is 3, this is 3, minus 3, ln 5 minus ln 3, subtraction can be converted into division, it is 5 upon 3. So, it is shown, this is the requirement of the question. We have to show that integrate 0 to 1 4x upon 2x plus 3 dx is equal to 2 minus 3 ln 5 upon 3. So, we have achieved our target. Move to question number 9. Part A, 9 part A, find the quotient and remainder when 4x square plus 4x divided by 2x plus 1. Very easy, 4x square plus 4x is divided by 2x plus 1. Write 2 over here, 2 to the 4, uh, sorry, 2x, 2x into 2x is 4x square, 2x, 1s are 2x. 4x cancelled by 4x square, 4 minus 2 is 2x. And now, we need 2x, so we just write 1, 1 into 2x is 2x. 1 1 is 1. So, minus minus 2x cancel by 2x, it is minus 1. Hence, the quotient is equals to 2x plus 1. And the remainder, that is the last 
left term is minus 1. So this is our final answer of part A. This is the requirement. Find the quotient and remainder. Hence, part B. Hence, show that 0 to 1 4x square plus 4x upon 2x plus 1 dx is equals to sorry 2 minus 1 upon 2 ln 3 focus the word on part b the first word is hence hence means we have to take the help from previous part so we have already divided 4x square plus 4x upon 2x plus 1 so how to write this So we can write this integrate 0 to 1 minus 1 whole minus 1 plus the quotient is 2x plus 1 upon the dividend that is 2x plus 1. I am confused, kindly wait. I want to check one more thing. Sorry. It was my mistake. This is wrong. How to write this? 2x plus 1 plus minus 1 upon 2x plus 1 dx because if we multiply if we take the LCM of 2x plus 1 we will get again 4x square plus 4x I checked this when I divide 9 by 2 so 2 for the 8 9 minus 8 is 1 so we have to write 4 whole 1 upon 2 similarly we have to write 2x plus 1 whole or 2x plus 1 plus the remainder minus 1 upon the dividend okay I hope you understand now integrate this integrate 0 to 1 2x dx plus integrate 0 to 1 dx minus integrate 0 to 1 1 upon 2x plus 1 dx ok Two goes outside, so zero to one x dx plus dx is x zero to one minus the derivative of denominator is two x plus one, so we have to multiply by two and divide by two. So minus one upon two and the integration is ln two x plus one limit. 0 to 1 next integration of x is x square upon 2 and the limit from 0 to 1 apply limit on x it is 1 minus 0 minus 1 upon 2 apply limit 
ln 2 x x is 1 ln 2 1 the 2 plus 1 is 3 ln 3 minus ln 2 0 the 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so 2 cancel by 2 apply limit 1 square is 1 0 square is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 minus 1 upon 2 ln 3 and ln 1 is 0 you can find ln 1 from your calculator you will get 0 so 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 1 upon 2 ln 3 what is the requirement 2 minus 1 upon 2 ln 3 exactly same we achieve shown answer so very easy question but sometime teacher can also confuse and confuse in a very simple point that is the name of dividend quotient and reminder sorry for that so student this is our today's class where we did all remaining questions of exercise 15.8 so we have successfully finished the whole exercise 15.8 it was very lengthy exercise but this is my habit I did each and every part from question number one to question number nine what next further definite integration this is the last topic of integration because after this topic we will be doing the application of integration so how many questions in further definite integrations one two three four five oh very nice i can do all questions in a single lecture i promise you we will finish the whole 15.9 in a single lecture so kindly do practice more and more and more and if you feel any problem in any question of this exercise or previous exercise write in comment box i will help you A student kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture